Auzu billahi mineşşeytanir racim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Madad ya seyyidi ya sultan el evliya Mevşeyh Muhammed Nazım Adil Hakani. Madad ya seyyidi ya mevlana Şeyh Hişam Kıvani. Abidun be madakum ve nazarukum ve zuhalana ve şfanana. Alhamdulillah that they're the shaykhs and the guides and that we're not claiming to be anything, asking to enter into the oceans of Allah Azawajal's rahmah and mercy. Alhamdulillah in the holy month of Rabbi al-Awwal, the holy days of Mila the Nabi that towards the understanding of what only Allah wants for us to understand, Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that we went over before that Prophet's name, that what Allah named that Divinely Reality is important for us. Not only where we, we are making these up from our heart but Allah is teaching us that to understand that reality what Allah put of oceans of reality in the huruf, in naming that reality. Means every secret has a name and every name has a secret. And when they want to begin to open that secret, one tremendous secret is in why Allah used those hurufs to describe the reality of Prophet And before we describe that Sayyidina Muhammad is the secret of hamd. That the holy praise and what first existed in creation was the Word of God, means the praise of the Divine, that this is the secret of Hamd. We said before that all creation is in the ocean of the Mim and the Hamd is the power of that ocean. The essence of that center Allah gave from His Alif for this power to continue to emanate because this is a Divinely power. La Shariq means there cannot be two Divines, one Divinely power and Allah gives His holy alif, Izzatullahi wa Rasul wal Mu'mineen. What make people to be Mu'mineen is that they be dressed by the secret of this faith, they be dressed by the secret of submission, the secret of faith and Maqam al-Ihsan. So begin to teach us all of these realities. From within this reality they begin to teach from the holy names that the heart of this reality it has a name in which Allah dressing that name Sayyidina Yaseen. Because the heart has to be understood from the heart everything is emanating out. This is the heart that gave us Holy Qur'an. So anybody who loves Prophet you celebrate the life and the reality of Prophet it is a celebration of Holy Qur'an. If not for this being born, there is no Holy Qur'an for you. There's no Islam, there's no Iman, there's no Maqam al-Ihsan. Means begin to teach us that the name in which Allah gave the heart of that reality is Sayyidina Yaseen. Sayyidina Yaseen and all ulama mashayikh come and teach us the heart of Holy Qur'an is Surat al-Yaseen That in itself is an amazing ocean of realities, that it is the source of Holy Qur'an's emanation. It's emanating from the secret of that Ya and Seen. By reading Holy Yaseen you are mentioning the reality, the highest realities of the Muhammadan reality So why in, in Allah's Rahmah and Prophet's Rahmah that Prophet made all the nation to recite Surat al Yaseen? Throughout the day we recite at the Fajr time as a part of the wazifa, tremendous realities and you recite over every single Muslim who's passing away. Why? Because even if they didn't accept to make durood al sharif and they didn't accept to acknowledge the high reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet's intercession and rahmatan lil alameen. That even you recite Surat al Yaseen, you'll be dressed by that recite, by that reality. You'll be dressed by that secret of Sayyidina Yaseen salam to dress your heart, bless your heart from all its divine realities. Allah making us all to recite Surat al Yaseen, to be dressed from that. 
Then they begin to teach that this hurufs, that that sin is for the secret. And the secret has these three lines like oceans that from this you enter into this ocean, up into that secret, out into that ocean because this is the secret of reality. This is the secret of creation, it is made from ilmu yaqeen, one line, ayn al yaqeen, the second line haqq yaqeen. Means you have to come into that secret and the first line is ilmu yaqeen means you have to have the knowledge, knowledges of realities. If you want to reach the reality not just you're studying wudu, they, all, they know 10 different subjects of wudu, okay you got over your wudu, you learned how to wash your rear end and wash your hands, congratulations. But the knowledge of realities, you have to have ilmu yaqeen that you went beyond into the knowledges of Islam, into the knowledges of iman which are faith and to love Prophet more than you love yourself and maqam al-ihsan and the realities of the reality of realities, nurul anwar wa sirat al-asrar means the, the reality of lights and the secret of all the mysteries of that light. So that first ilmu yaqeen, with ilmu yaqeen and the knowledge of realities, ayna yaqeen, they're going to teach you to open up because ayn also is from alim, but ayn also for the heart. That you're using your eyes but these realities are not the eyes of your body but the eyes of the soul. So then begin to teach, make tafakkur and contemplate. Contemplate Allah's creation, contemplate Allah's holy Qur'an that recite and begin to meditate on what you recited. You're using those Divinely knowledges and building your ayn, building your spiritual vision of your soul. That knowledge with the vision of the soul and the power of the soul becomes haqq yaqeen. Haqq yaqeen is a brick by brick. Allah begin to reveal to your soul what they call khashf, different visions and different understandings through the soul brick by brick. So that you know it like you know your hand, like you know your being, big brick by brick haqq yaqeen begins to open. Tawassul bi haqqi wa tawassul bi sabr means our way is based on the way of haqq is based on sabr, all of this requires a sabr and a patience that you build these knowledges, contemplate these knowledges, they begin to open the haqq of that knowledge. That is the secret of the seen. And why Allah wants us to know that that seen and the heart of Holy Qur'an, the ya is the yaqeen, that you have to come to the certainty, the ya brings the yaqeen, so do everything to enter into the oceans of yaqeen into the understanding of the seen. So then that yaqeen for the knowledge, for the vision and for the haqq of certainty. That seen also stands for asami. That Prophet's reality is yaqeen asami, that he is the commander of those who hear. Because they want us to understand what makes the heart of Divinely Presence to be the heart of Divinely Presence. The why not any other Prophet carrying that reality? Because Allah wants us to know that this is the certainty of hearing. I created this reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad the heart and the reality of Yaseen, I created it to hear and it hears my Divinely Presence complete. So our way is what? Samina wa ta'ana. We heard and we obeyed. Not I saw because people who are, who are making statues and, and, and rubbing things, they're trying to see and obey. The highest levels of reality, Allah just says, no, no you don't need to see anything. You need to hear and obey hear and obey. So then the ways of tarbiyah and the ways of ihtiba to follow, not follow with our eyes but follow with our ears. <laughs> 
follow with our ears that you heard what they taught and you're following. You heard what they taught and you're following and they're beginning to test you with what you hear. Not your spiritual hearing but what you're hearing them physically. You hear them physically, you listen and you follow. Hear, listen, follow. Follow so that we can inherit from Prophet that when you're following physically their orders, their commands, their way of life that you're accompanying them, wajib al taqli it's Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah and all the lovers of Ahl bayt it's mandatory to follow. When we follow it opens the reality of the ear. That's why when you make salah you go, Allahu Akbar. Why Allah wants that? Is that my ears for you. It is the commanding of my soul that my soul's power is moving through my ears. When I'm hearing with yaqeen means the energy of my soul is coming. My eyes are the window of the soul but these are the doors of the soul. That my soul is in command and it's saying Allahu Akbar means moving into your Divinely Presence. So many realities based on the Yaseen and it is Habibullah. It carries the hub, the Hayat and Baha Bahr Qudra. That all of Holy Qur'an in Fatiha, all of Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the Baha. So Allah showing us in many different understandings this is the Qalb. Qalb, why? Because Qaf, Lam, Qul. To the what? Qul is a speech. Allah's speech is to the Ba. And the whole of creation unfolds from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. So the Qalb is Sayyidina Yaseen which is Sayyidina Muhammad. And he has yaqeen as that he has the perfection of hearing and because of that reality every soul of every Prophet is just below that, the perfection of hearing when the one who hears the Divine speaks for the Divine. The one who hears Prophet speaks for Prophet That's why not everybody speaks but the ones who are hearing with perfection they be granted a permission by Allah you hear us. So you speak for us and the master of them, the Sayyid of them is Sayyidina Muhammad So every time we're seeing that scene throughout Holy Qur'an it has to do with the secret of these realities. So then to reach to that secret that is our mission that Ya Rabbi let me to reach Sirat al-Asrar, Nur al-Anwar wa Sirat al-Asrar let me to reach to these secrets then direct yourself to Prophet direct yourself to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad they show you like a Niagara Falls flowing that is the source of Holy Qur'an, is the light. We're talking about the soul not physical body. The world of souls, the world of light. It's not a shirk because you're worshipping Allah directing yourself to where the Qur'an was emanating, where Allah's Divinely speech is emanating and there is nowhere to find Allah there's no way you can enter into a room and take the space of Allah and breathe the air of Allah La shariq. La ilaha illallah is very clear for us, don't look here. You're not going to share my speech, you're not going to share my air, you're not going to share my space. You look for the reality in Muhammadun Rasulullah So it's the ocean of Muhammad is the ocean of Hamd, the center and the reality of all paradise realities of hamd of what Sayyidina Isa salam was calling this reality is the Ahmad salam. That's why Alif hamd, Ahmad, Alhamdulillah. Hamd Allah is for Sayyidina Muhammad This is Alhamdulillah. That we go into a different association. The second name that they want us to understand is Sayyidina Taha. Sayyidina Taha has a title of Rasul Allah, means then the center 
of the reality of Prophet Sayyidina Yaseen is where the heart of Allah heart of Holy Qur'an is emanating. Means that when you love Allah and Allah accepts your love, He begins to take you to His Divinely heart. People are not understanding that. Means all our life, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونَ يُهِبُّكُمْ اللَّهِ That everything we're doing was for the love of Allah When Allah says that, you're loving me, you're loving me, you're loving me, I'm accepting your love, now I want to take you where my heart is. Because we were bringing Allah into our heart. But now Allah wants to take us to where His Divinely heart is. My heart, I'm not on heavens and I'm not on earth, but I'm on the heart of this believer. That I'm going to take you into my Divinely heart where my love is. Because your heart is with the love of Allah Allah's heart is with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad From that love is where Qur'an is coming. When they're not respecting Prophet they're not respecting Holy Qur'an. They're not respecting their own reality and their own birth. From what ocean did you come from? Allah then teaching, if I don't love you, that's why you don't go. When I don't love you, you don't go to Mawlid and Nabi Sasam. When I don't love you, you don't mention my name. When I don't love you, I don't even let you to mention the name of the one whom I love. This is all a ni'mat and a love of Allah Allah says in Surah An-Nur, we allowed our name to be mentioned. So if you're not mentioning, you're not clever but you're cursed. That Allah not allowing you to mention His name, He seals your lips says, from that mouth I don't want to hear my name and from that mouth I don't want to hear my most beloved, the one whom I love and like a fragrance. Why would you want that fragrance to come out of something of a horrible dirty nature? So it's not our cleverness, it's Allah's grant. That I'm allowing you to praise upon this Divinely reality and because of your praising I will change everything about you. Yuhibbukumullah. If that you enter into that reality because I love Sayyidina Yaseen alayhi salatu salam, I will begin to change your being so that you match the beauty of that light, that you match the fragrance of that light. We said before, you can't give somebody beautiful roses and throw them into a muddy water. If Allah granting you these beautiful roses, then Allah granting to change the water that it's put in. Means your entire being to change. The Ya Rabbi, grant me from these realities and these lights and grant me a worthiness of that light to enter within me. And that is the, the fight in which Allah will support. That is when Allah says that that is the, the opening within your reality. If I allow you to make that praise, I'm going to begin to fight with inside of you. Then I'm going to push all the bad character away. I'm going to push all the shayateen away so that that light and that love emanate within you and you become mafuz, guarded. Why only Allah are guarded? Because of the love they have for Sayyidina Muhammad They are dressed from the reality of Yaseen alayhi salatu salam. They are dressed from the realities of Holy Qur'an. They don't have to have it memorized because Allah Zawajalli taqullah wa alimukumullah has such a, a love for them that as they need Allah Zawajal will teach. Because they are Ahle Hub. Because this is from Habibullah, they are from Ahl Hayat and they carry in their lives the bah of all of Holy Qur'an, the bah of Bahr Qudra. So they are the hub, hub Rasul is to bring the light of faith. Hub Rasul are from the people of Hayat, that behind them are the people of Hayat and they are the holders of the bah. And within their hands is Bahru Qudra. With that support, with that light, with that love, they are moving. And Allah begin to describe that my hand is upon their hand. 
and the hand of Prophet upon their hand means that their hands are supported, their lives are supported, their being are supported. Then they begin to teach us that the Risalat and the soul of Prophet was a Rasul way before Adam was between water and clay. That you're talking about the world of light and not the world of form. When we're talking about the messengership of the world of light, it's before the creation of the form. Alam al Qur'an khalaq al insan. Alam al Qur'an means that when Allah created this light of Muhammadun Rasulullah that you are the Rasulullah alayhi salatu salam. Ancient. And that's what Prophet was telling his family that they asked, what was the first of creation? The light of your messenger, the Rasul, the light of your Rasul. Because I was giving a sharat in the world of light, means when there's a Rasul and Allah created the Khalifa, created this reality, there's no going to Allah. So there is no malaika who have seen Allah. That's why they're all called Mim. They're all from the Mim of Sayyidina Muhammad. They answer to Sayyidina Ahmad. They're from Nur Muhammad they can't go above Prophet to Allah The malaika can't go into that hut. That's why the highest of the malaika, Sayyidina Jibreel said, for your Isra wal Maraj, Ya Rasulullah I can't go, it's not my reality. This is a reality that you are that reality, we are not that reality. If I go I'd be a non-existent, what would I be able to serve you anymore? Nobody goes to Allah you are the owner of Qawb Qawsayni O Adana. Bayna Ahad wa Ahmad is meme of Muhammad Between Ahad that nothing is like unto him and Sayyidina Ahmad is only meme. This is Ahad. The veil and the hijab and the barrier is Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why he is granted the grant of intercession. He is the word of Allah He is the praise of Allah And because we described in, in the talkings of energy and sound that the emanation and the sound that Prophet emanates destroys everything false. And as a result will raise it back into the lights in which Allah wounds. That is the reality. So there is no malaika who enter into that presence. They come to the risalat of Sayyidina Muhammad and That's why Sayyidina Isa salam, when he was seeing that reality he described it as Nabi Ahmad salam. Sayyidina Muhammad salam, is for dunya. That when the physical body came it has the meme it's known as Sayyidina Muhammad salam. But in the world of arwa and light, its darajat and the reality of its light, it carries the alif of Allah It's divinely dressed and what Allah gave which we can't talk on camera, what Allah gave of realities can only be from that alif. Creation can't do that. Only Allah no partner. So Allah says, there is no partner, my alif is supporting you. So look to the sun, you can't say shirk, how the sun does what it does. That's why it was mistaken as a god. You get your nourishment from the sun, you get your sight from the sun, photosynthesis. You get your warmth and your energy from the sun and yet it's not Allah it's just the creation of Allah He gives it an alif, He gives it an izzah and it does what it has to do. What do you think about Nur Muhammad where they describe the green dome of Medina, all of dunya is buried in its light. It means every star that you imagine is nothing compared to the star of Nabi Ahmad from the light and the power of Sayyidina Ahmad every power is emanating. So then 
to understand the authority of that reality they say Sayyidina Taha is the Rasul Allah. So they explain why Yaseen now to understand a Taha is that he has the toin which is al Tahir. He's Tahir al Hadi. He is the purified guide of Allah. That the purity of that light that Allah allowed to be Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. Allah attached His divinely name to that reality. You can't call yourself Zishan Allah, they kill you. <laughs> Rasul Allah. And Allah says, that so pure, so divinely lights, so blessed lights, my name is attached to that light. Taha is Tahir al Hadi, he is the purified guide of divinely presence. That Al Tahir and the He is that he is the Hadi of Allah, that he's been granted hidayat. So we use our five senses to come to guidance. So they begin to teach, use your five senses, not only your physical five senses but each sense has a sense through your soul. First the most important sense is the sense of hearing. You hear me but you don't really hear me. So we send out all sorts of uh, emails and Mawlana Shaykh always teaching. People have ears but they don't really hear. Take what they want, they leave with the rest and they innovate and make their own things up. So they teach, you have a hearing from your physical and then if you listen and listen and listen for Sami and to reach the maqam of the perfection of Sami they begin to open your spiritual hearing. If you open your spiritual hearing you have a sense of seeing. If you close your eyes to the material world and begin to contemplate and meditate and tafakkur, min tafakkur sa'ati, whoever can tafakkur for one hour as if 70 years of worshipness Prophet described. Because you're using now the sense of seeing but opening up now the sense of your soul in which you can see what people can see. You hear what people can hear, that is the holy hadith, hadith al-Qudsi. That if my servant comes with voluntary worship, love, things that you had to do by love not by force, I'll become the hearing in which he hears, I'll become the seeing in which he sees. These are all the senses. I'll become the, the tongue in which he speaks, there's the taste. I'll become the breath in which he breathes, I'll become the hands. And the f in which he touches and the feet in which he moves means these are the sense of touch. Allah just says, I will take over all your senses and dress you with hidayat and guidance. Where I am now your hearing, I am now your seeing, I am now your hands, Yadullah, that your hands are supported by the hands of Prophet and upon those hands is Allah's hands. That's why in Surat Al Yaseen, Subhanalladhi bi yadihi mulk. Allah gives His Subhan to those hands that carry the mulk of Allah Because they have Izza, they have Izzatullahi wa Rasuli wal Mu'mineen, awliya Allah they're describing so we understand. Awliya Allah are the commanders of this reality. That Allah what Allah dressed Sayyidina Ahmad with, Sayyidina Ahmad dresses them and Allah gives His glory be to the hands that have that mulk. That's why within their hands, within their being Allah dressed them from that idayat. So then it became Taha that He is the most purified guide of all realities. This is the reality from all the Prophets. All the Prophets are the center and all the creation is the circumference each Prophet's responsibility is to bring everybody to the center. There's no Prophet that wanted to bring people to the outer universe or to themselves. They say, you're on the circumference, 
come to the center of these realities, the center of that reality is the reality of the soul of all the Prophets. And they begin to describe the Muhammadan reality. All of them were given from the Muhammadan light that gave them the ability to deliver the message or confirm a prior message that had come. So Sayyidina Taha is Tahir or Hadi and they call that reality Rasulullah, Rasulullah. So when we're saying Rasulullah they want us to understand in the marifa towards Sayyidina Muhammad that this is the ocean of praise, that Sayyidina Ahmad is the center and most powerful reality of that ocean of praise and then deeper into that is Sayyidina Yaseen now you're at the fountainhead. Man like you're looking at Niagara Falls where everything is, is, is shooting out of that reality. From that that reality is coming, Sayyidina Taha is the Risalat and the Rasulullah that all creation, all Prophets, all angels, all souls are in need of that guidance. So it comes to Rasulullah and they begin to teach that this is from the highest reality of the Rabbaniyoon. Means the lordly station and lofty stations of the soul. Because Rabb is not Allah Allah is the creator. Rabb al bayt, Rabb al shar. You call Rabb as an authority back home. They came back and changed the words and said, Rabb is Allah. No, no, Allah, Allah, Allah is Allah. But the Rabb is the authority. So they would say, who's the Rabb of this shah of this, of this town? Who's the mayor? Then they come to your home and say, who's the Rabb al-Bayt? Who's the Lord of the house? Who's the house of lords? Means that their souls are elevated souls and Allah says in Holy Qur'an, be Rabbaniyoon. That your life is to acquire knowledge and, and teach knowledge. Because knowledge is the pursuit of power, Divinely power. Not power on this earth where you manipulate and harm people. But knowledge dresses the soul and the reality of the soul. The highest of these, Rabbil Alameen, Rahmatan lil Alameen. The highest of this reality is the dress of Rasulullah. The scene in the Rasul means he's carrying the secret of that reality. The wow of Rasulullah is that he carries the secret of wadud, that all oh, this creation is created out of love. Love for Sayyidina Muhammad I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. I'm going to give myself to be known through the reality of Muhammad Rasulullah So he's Rabbi Sirat al-Wadud, he's the Lord of the secret of love. Rasul, Rasul that carries the Rabb secret of wow is the secret of love and then upon the lamb of Rasul, the lamb lisan al-haq. That's why messenger, messenger must be delivering a message for somebody. Message for Divine the Presence is only for Allah because He is perfection of hearing So describe, because of the heart and the perfection of hearing, He is the Rasul والسلام, that He hears me complete. I created Him والسلام, for the purpose of hearing me and nobody hears me like Sayyidina Muhammad hears me and finished. And they begin to give us the understanding of Rasulullah, his Rabb as Sirat al Wadud, and because of that, Allah gave Lisan al Haq that his tongue is the tongue of Allah. Allah cannot be heard in the universe, in the heavens, or on earth except through Sayyidina Muhammad. No angel has heard that reality of the dialogue between Prophet and Allah They don't know with what energy, with what light, with what sounds that comes. 
even Holy Qur'an. Prophet asked Sayyidina Jibra'il where are you getting Qur'an revelation from? He said, Ya Rasulullah I go to a hut, a limit in which there is a green veil and from behind the veil a hand comes, gives me what I'm to recite and bring to you, I bring instantly that. So said, this time I give you permission to look at that veil. Sayyidina Jibra'il went for the wahi when he came to reveal, he went, saw the hand, a beautiful white hand of light, he opened the veil and it was Sayyidina Muhammad said, from Muhammad to Muhammad Means that Rasulullah, the tongue of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Taha Means that is then the, the beauty of the Muhammadan realities. We pray that Allah grant us more and more opportunity to go deeper and deeper, that Mawlana Shaykh's blessings, Mawlana Shaykh's knowledges dress us, bless us, give the patience to understand, give the ability to tafakkur and contemplate, to be dressed by these lights, blessed by these lights and know that it's not our cleverness. If you're not able to celebrate Mawlidah Nabi I'm so sorry for you. If you're not able to praise upon Prophet we pray for you that Allah grant that ni'mat. It's a ni'mat and a blessing from Allah to be allowed to praise upon these realities and to be allowed to enter within these realities. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Al-Fatiha.